Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to make the bag bodies for your mini bags. This right here is the open tote. This is the cross body bag, which actually is two-sided, so it has pockets on two sides. And the little hobo bag. These are great for gift cards, birthday presents, put your little treasures in. The bag bodies for all bags are made virtually the same. Uh, this is the bag body for the open tote. This is the two bag bodies for the crossbody bag. And here's the bag body for the hobo bag. So I'm going to show you um, how to make them. I'm going to be using the open tote as an example. What you have to do is to cut your fabric and your interfacing, this is a double-sided fusible interfacing, according to the pattern directions. You want to place your interfacing one and a half inches from the top. To make that easy, place a ruler on the top of your fabric so that the one and a half inch line is on the top of the fabric. Take your interfacing place it against the bottom end of the ruler, slide the ruler away, fold the fabric over, and iron. Now you want to iron with a hot steam iron, and because you're working with fusibles, it's good to have an iron that has a Teflon sole plate so that you can wipe the um, interfacing away if you need to, or the fusible away if you need to. So then you're going to fold the bottom up about a half an inch, and iron that finishes this edge. Fold that bottom piece up so that it is about an inch from the top or a little bit less than an inch from the top. So if you put your ruler down that folded edge is just up above the edge of your ruler and then you're going to fuse that down. Fusing it will help it stay in place while you're doing your channel stitching, which is the next step. So that's all fused in place. The next step is you'll want to stitch right along this edge, right here, one inch from the edge of your fabric. So you can see that right there. I've stitched right along that. The next step is you'll want to turn it over. Now this right here with the folded edge on it will be the inside of the bag. This is the outside of the bag. So you'll do all of your, all of your other stitching from the outside of the bag. So stitch one inch from the bottom edge and then stitch every half inch. That's for the open tote. You're going to leave on the open tote, you're going to leave these two one inch areas unsewn because you will sew in there when you put the binding on. For the crossbody bag, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make two. So here you're stitching one inch from this edge right here. You're going to flip the two pieces over. You're going to first stitch one inch from the bottom and then one inch in the middle and then go back and stitch every half inch so that in between. To make this step a little bit easier, you may want to draw some lines. This happens to be the bag body for the hobo bag. The hobo bag is the biggest uh, bag body that you'll do. Again, you've stitched one inch from the top, then you're going to flip it over. And in this case, I've gone ahead with a Frisian pen, and this pen is removable uh, if you iron. So you'll draw your lines every inch. You don't have to draw it across the top because you would have already sewn that line. And then you'll stitch on those lines and then you'll stitch every half inch in between those lines. And that's it. That's how you make your bag bodies for your mini bags.